Hey, this is Whiskey Monday, and y'all, I gotta be honest, I suck at this. I am gonna be making a video for you here, and I am not very good at it at all. So you're just gonna have to bear with me. Um, if you make it through this video, bless you, because this is the worst. So the reason I'm making this video, this is my own home that I'm showing you here, but the reason I'm making this video is because I'm gonna be featuring the home of an artist in Second Life, Yupalino Sugujin, and I love his home. It's not traditional, though, and so, uh, photographs don't work. Photographs don't show his place, and so I'm going to have to video it, and I've been trying to learn how to video. So far, the only video that I've done is Drunken Second Life, which didn't teach me anything because I don't remember it. It didn't help you guys because it was sucky. So, here I am sober in Second Life in my home and hoping that I can actually video. It's a little bit herky-jerky. I'm still learning, but thank you for bearing with me. Um, I just moved into this house and just got finished setting it up. I would say that it's finished. However, it's not. They never are. I don't know about you, but in my Second Life home, I am constantly changing and tweaking and adding new things. Designers are constantly adding new things, and so I am always making room for something new or different or changing things out. Um, and so I never think of a Second Life home as finished, uh, but this one is finished enough to show it, and so I'm very, very happy with it. I should start out with the build, I think. This is a build from Scarlet Creative, and I have a bazillion builds in my, um, a, a, a bazillion houses in my inventory, and I go through them all. When, when I get ready to set out a house, I sit here and res every single house that I own and try to figure out what do I want? What am I in the mood for? What do I like in a house? Um, and I'm super happy with this one. I don't tend to change houses very often. Um, I change out the inside of the house quite a bit, but I'll stick with this build, build for a long time. One thing I want to tell you is I modded the hell out of this house. This is not what it looks like resed from the box, so your Cat Skills Lodge from uh, Scarlet Creative will not look like mine. I pulled this wall off. Um, to start with, because I like to have open spaces in Second Life. I mean, hell, it's not like I'm going to be in the weather. Um, and so I really, really like a water view. And so I spend a lot of time here just staring out at the water. Um, and so I really like this open wall. I pulled um, a lot of different things out of this house and changed a lot of textures. But anyway, so that's the build. Um, and then the inside stuff is just a bunch of little things that I have collected um, and 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 found over the years. One of the things that I do want to point out, this is a, a painting that's actually a real life painting that my daughter did. My real life daughter in the real world, her name is Pippin, and this is a painting by Pippin. She gave me permission to bring this piece into Second Life. You need to be smart about copyright if you're going to be bringing anything into Second Life that you didn't create yourself. Um, I have brought a few things into Second Life that I didn't create myself, but because I'm not selling them, I'm using them for my own personal use um, in sort of a one-time use. I'm fudging copyright a little bit. But this is another piece here. I do want to point this piece out. This is by a Second Life artist. It's a real life piece by Michael Monk, whose work you might have seen in Second Life. Um, and so as I kind of move through this space, this is also one more I'll show you. Uh, Pippin, again, did a painting of Georgia O'Keeffe for me that I have in my real life house. And so now I also have it in my Second Life house because Georgia is a favorite. Um, but anyway, so I tend to match my second lifestyle and my real lifestyle. We um, are very much the same. I match my avatar after me and I match my home after my real life home. However, it maybe um, is my real life home uh, if I lived on the water. My In the real world, I live in the mountains. It's very green and lush here. And I live in a craftsman bungalow that I love, but it is very warm and cluttered, much like my second life home. Um, I want to show off my house on the blog in two parts. Um, one will be the home and one will be the landscaping because I actually hired someone and I'm not ashamed to say it. I hired someone to do the landscaping for me in Second Life and he did a wonderful job and I can't wait to show it off. Um, so in Second Life, I don't like lots of rooms. I would prefer big open spaces. Um, I don't generally use my spaces for role play. Um, I, I can role play and probably really enjoy role play, but it's not something I do in my home. And so I'm not looking for a bathroom or, um, or a kitchen space in Second Life. I don't want dishes or dumps in my Second Life. And so I generally just have bedroom, desk area, I have an office. Um, in a living area. Um, and generally, I spend most of my time here. 
Um, I like to sit here in my second life world while I am working in my real life world. I work from home, and so it's real easy for me to sit here and hang out in second life and enjoy the view while I'm working, and I find it super soothing. If you're not one of those people that understands what I mean, then fuck off. But if you are one of those people that understands what I mean, then you get me. It's really soothing to sit here and look at the peaceful view that I have in second life. Um, I want to point out that these three pieces on the wall here are also by Pippin in the real world. They're lovely paintings in the real world. Um, but anyway, here is my desk in the real world. I'm actually sitting at my real world desk, which is not that neat. Um, I collect tiny birds in the real world, real world, and they're all over my house. And in Second Life, I collect tiny birds as well. Um, and so I really just wanted to see if this was something I could do. Can I make a video without completely screwing it up? So far, I think it's a little herky-jerky, it's a little weird, but I don't know, have I made you really crazy dizzy? Um, this is my home, and I'm really happy to show it off. I hope that I've not made you puke. Thanks for hanging with me while I show you my second life. I'm going to get this up, and I'm going to put it on the blog. Um, along with a bunch of photos and things. So this will be one of my typical control shift H blog posts, but it's going to be about my own home. And the next one coming up will be Yupa's artful home, um, which hopefully I can get done. So thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for um, in advance for making it to the end. If you did, you're a trooper. This is Whiskey Monday signing off.